Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. Today we're going to take a look at the new season 2031-2032. We have been in this Skybet League 1 for 1 uh, season. This is the second season we're starting. So we're going to take a look at the first match. Before we do, I'm going to obviously take you through the transfers that we've done leading up to this start of season. So, if we head over to the squad, this will be a brief pretty good view. We have one new goalkeeper on loan, Freddy Sands. He's on loan from Swansea. So he's um, he's going to be sharing the role with Owen Evans, who we had from last year. Then in the right side of defence, we have Tyler Jardine. He's new as well. Um, we transferred him from uh, Barnsley. So uh, he's going to be there. We still have uh, Blaine Rowe. Left side of defence, nothing new, so we still have Adam, uh, Groom, and Sai Sachdev. In the central defence, we have only one new player, Luke Bell. If I could find him, there he is, Luke Bell. So he's going to be new as well for this season. He's got really good physical attributes. He's come over from Dorking, originally from Sunderland. So uh, he's not a new journey, he's a real player. So yeah, it's going to be new for us. Uh, and then. Jaden Lott, still around. Um, who else is a central defender here? Dexter Sn uh, Sneedon and Finlay Coleman. Defensive midfield, we still have the same two Chris Austin and Ethan Hill. The midfield, we have one new player, Miles Just Ham. Just ham. He only eats ham, apparently. Yeah, he's on loan from Coventry. And then, other than that, we still have Adam Cooper around. Sorry, Alan Coomer. Right side of attack, we still have the same two. Uh, Raylon decided to stay for one extra season. Actually, he's, he hasn't mentioned retirement yet, so I'm, I'm hoping. Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, he's he's he needs to move on anyway. But we ha we couldn't re replace him. Um, Neither could we replace Adam Ushia, so he's still around as well. That's probably our weakest point in the squad. Left side we have Fedel, Ross Lang and uh, Kieran McLeod. This is actually two players that were in the squad two seasons ago. Um, so this is kind of a backward step. They, I kept them in the other 21s uh, for the time being. Um, he's actually from my youth setup, uh, Kieran. Anyway, they were with us in the main uh, squad two seasons ago, uh, and we had to kind of revert back to them because we couldn't find any alternatives, and we've run out of cash, which I'll take you through in a moment. In attack, we still have Catch Casey, uh, Kai Churchley, um, Ben, and also new to the squad is Tyler Winters, like a backup um, poacher. So, nothing really interesting there. Finances are appalling. Uh, and to make matters worse, we've run out of transfer budget. We're actually, we're in the red for transfers, and we've also uh, went over our uh, wage budget as well. So we literally cannot do anything. We can't um, get any players. So that's why we had to revert back to some older players we had, etc., etc. So we couldn't really make any improvements. I think the only real improvement we've done uh, is the central defense um, Luke Bell is our only real improvement that we've been able to get everyone else is just patching up holes um, so yeah so um, I don't think there's anything else to mention really we didn't do many changes this is still looking pretty good we've had a pretty consistent squad for many seasons so Let's just get into it. Actually, before we start, let me just look at the season preview. We still probably predicted to come bottom. Yeah, we are. There we go. Right at the bottom there. We have played two matches. Uh, one for the league, one for the Carabao Cup. We won the first round, so we're going to play Bournemouth. Which is going to be a hard game because they play in the championship now. They were in pre premiership uh, last year. So that's going to be a tough game for the Carabao Cup. Uh, uh, we drew our first match against MK Downs, so we're going to play QPR now. 
believe QPR was relegated. Yeah, so they were in the championship. So they're going to be a strong team. Uh, just resize this. And off we go for our second match of the league. First match of this um, season in, in YouTube. Let me just set up the uh, table. There we go. Yeah, so we're starting to hit a pretty difficult condition finances wise uh, we don't have any money to make an investment uh, at all in any any sort of investment um, best we could do is just renew a few contracts and then patch some holes with some free players um, players on loan so yeah pretty difficult situation for us finance wise we haven't expanded the stadium yet either uh, but that's up to the board, not really up to me. So, it's going to be pretty tricky. I just realized I forgot to plug in my laptop into power, so I'm just going to do that real quick. We do seem to have full stadiums, so that's good. So at least with the small stadium that we have, we're making the most of it. Nice goal. That was a really good movement as well with the passes. Very good. Very good movements there. Covering each other and stuff. Very good. Alright, half time. I might make two changes. I can see two players that are underperforming. So, um, Row might come in and, uh, yeah, why not? got a free kick here, and Ross Lang's going to take it. Goes wide. I think UPR's kit looks a lot like uh, Barcelona's kit. With the blue and kind of burgundy sort of color in stripes and the gold I'm not sure if that's their away kit right let's change the attack I'm gonna put Tyler Winters Sai Okay, and then last of all, um, I think let's put Karen in. I think he might be offside actually. I think he st might still be offside. Nope, that counted. Nice one. Second one for Casey. Yeah, this guy on the left was keeping him on side. That was good. Yeah, I think the uh, blue and burgundies they're away kit because uh, I can see the fans in the stand behind the goal wearing a white and blue 
Which is why they couldn't play in that kit against us, because we also sort of white, so. Okay, so if, um, if the game ends like this, we're going to be heading for 8th position. Looks like we have one last highlight here. Oh, they couldn't make the run. <laughs> That's what happens when you have slow players. Just didn't see the movement. This could be a goal here. Nicely defended by Sands. Good job. It's a pretty strange goal that. I thought I'd I thought our defender got to it, but obviously not. Let's watch that again. Yeah, I just couldn't quite reach it. That's a shame. Alright, ends in a draw. It's pretty good against QPR, not gonna lie. The QPR, you know, just came down from the league above, so they should be miles ahead of us. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'll catch you again in the next episode. So thanks so much for watching until the end. I obviously come back for the transfers in the winters uh, um, window. So see you then. Take care. Bye bye.